Women are a distraction. Don't forget that. Women are a distraction. This is why the monks would move away from women. Women will distract you, and, and they are masters of distraction. They are distraction masters. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, how can I stop getting so distracted? Like when I'm focusing on a goal, I usually drift off and not finish what I start. So the way to stop being distracted is to eliminate distractions, right? Isn't that crazy? The way you stop getting fat is you stop eating junk food. The way you stop anything is by removing it from your life, right? And so if you're getting distracted, it means there's too many distractions. And so you have to eliminate the distractions. And I got to tell you, man, you're not the only one. I remember life prior to the internet. And I remember life prior to smartphones. Smartphones have made me dumb. Smartphones make men stupid. And the reason why I know that is because prior to the smartphone, my level of focus and concentration was so much more precise. I was so much stronger in my focus and so much stronger in my resolve. I'm happy that I had my early 20s free from the iPhone because that's when I needed the most. I feel bad for you guys. But about the time the iPhones or the smartphones started coming around, I started to notice something in myself that I would set off to do something and then I would get distracted. Do you ever like even, you know, the first thing I would tell myself about the smartphones was I need it for business. Oh, wow, this is great. Now I can work everywhere all the time. What a fallacy that was, right? But that was my mindset at the time. I was like, wow, you know, and this was back when I was making YouTube videos too, right? Because these phones didn't, these phones only came out in like 2008, 2007, something like that, right? And I remember like I would have to sit at my computer to do computer work, right? Like that was some kind of drudgery. And I would sit at my computer. And then when the smartphone came out, I was like, I convinced myself, I was like, huh, if I have the smartphone, I can answer emails while I'm driving. I can do social media posts while I'm with my wife, right? Like d just doing other shit, I could be working. And as a result, my life became more, more distracted. And I was thinking about using it in terms of business, but then all the entertainment that's in it. The phones are a distraction tool. That's really what they are in many regards. They are a surveillance device. They're a distraction device. They make men effeminate. They make us weak. They make us confused. They make us have ADD and all kinds of things that keep us trapped in effeminacy, weakness, right? And so I'm just telling you me, but I'm probably sure that you and many of the other guys watching this are dealing with the same thing. It's the technology that distracts us. There is a pleasure associated with using the technology. There's a dopamine hit that's associated with it, especially if we're telling ourselves that we need to use it for business, right? And you're talking about goals, so I'm assuming you're doing something like this, right? You're going into your phone because you want to research something that's associated with your goal, right? But has this ever happened to you? I'm going in, I'm going to go do some research. I got to go figure this thing out. It's very important. It's associated with my business. It's associated with my goals, I'm gonna go research it now, right? And, you, and then what do you do? You open up your phone and there's, there's, a, there's a notification. There's a text message. There's something that catches your eye and you're off on a whole new ride. I've done that, I did that the other day. I was so mad at myself and I was mad at the person that texted me, even though it's not their fault. People shouldn't have instant access to us. That's a problem. The fact that people have instant access and, and, and require instant responses, right? Because everybody's become so accustomed to is instant communication that our entire life becomes a frigging distraction. So I go into my phone and I, and I forgot completely what I was in there for. Distractions, 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 right? It would have been better in the pre- social media days and the pre cell phone days where I would get up from what I was doing. I'll come to my office. I'll open up the computer and there was no distractions. There's, this is what I came here to do. This is what I'm going to do. Shut off notifications, man. That may be one way to start to start getting things going. I understand that we kind of live in a world where most of our actions are being done through the cloud, right? When I say cloud, I'm talking about the internet, right? We live in the fucking clouds. I understand that, but there's way too many distractions. There's way too much information. There's way too much pleasure 
There's way too much excitement. There's way too much distractions. Right? So I, in a way, I'm not blaming you, right? Because it's hard. It's hard. You know why it's hard? Because it's so unconscious. We don't realize we're being distracted. And if you're from this generation, see, look, I'm like an old millennial. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Gen Xer. So I grew up like I grew up without a lot of the things that you guys were born with. And so I know myself prior to the technology. I remember life without it. And I can refer back to that. You guys, you're born into this hell. You're born swimming in the sea of, the sea of distractions, right? Best of the times, worst of the times. And so you have no frame of reference for what it's like not to be distracted. And so what you got to do is create solid boundaries for yourself. Create boundaries for yourself. Create boundaries for yourself by shutting off the, uh, get a dumb phone. I've talked about that before. Just get rid of the smartphone altogether. Keep it on its leash, right? What does that mean? Keep it plugged in on the wall in your office. Keep it plugged in over there. If you're going to do work, don't use the internet. Shut the internet off. If you're on your computer, shut the internet off and just work offline, right? Shut off the Wi-Fi in your house, right? Unsubscribe from everything that is a useless distraction in your inbox or in your social media. You know, one of the biggest distractions that a lot of men have is all these pretty girls they follow on Instagram, right? You go in there because you're going to go post, you're going to go do your post for the day and you're going to get some leads and you're going to close some deals. And next thing you know, that pretty girl, this pretty girl, and next you know, all types of pretty girls are showing up in your feed. And there you go. You're just spending your whole day there lusting over sluts. You got to unsubscribe and purge all that from your social media. Any girl, even if she knows it, even if your sister is posting sexy pictures on Instagram, you got to unsubscribe because we can't continue to tolerate that, right? It's a distraction. Women are a distraction. Don't forget that. Women are a distraction. This is why the monks would move away from women. Women will distract you and, and they are masters of distraction. They're distraction masters and they do it through what? Wearing promiscuous clothing, showing their butt off and their titty, side titties and all that, right? They think they're being free and liberated and they think that they're, you know, I'm just dressing this way for me. No, you're not. No, you're not. You have no idea why you're dressing that way because you're a fucking follower. You're just doing what the other girls do and they're all doing it because it gets them attention. So, and so, so withdraw your attention from things that don't serve you. Withdraw your attention from news, right? There was a time last year during COVID where I was so distracted by news. I was going on, you know, and I go on like alternative new websites and I was just hitting refresh, waiting for the new story to come. I caught myself. I'm like, what the heck am I doing? Remove yourself from distractions, remove distractions from your life, and then you'll be on track, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you wanna join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting, done.